So here we are. Looking at the difference here. With, you can make it out just to the back there. I've just put a new glass lily pipe in. And you can really see the difference this is making with the current. It's a lot calmer. The fish seem much more chilled. They're swimming in areas they wouldn't normally swim. Even the tetras are coming out more often now. And you just see it's making all the difference in the world here. I've also made a little change around here that I feel you might want to notice. As I notice this intake guy, it's a that is my UV bulb equipped intake. I basically dug a hole in the substrate there to drop it a little bit, create a little slope, and filled it with um, mechanical filter balls that came with one of my one of my now defunct filters and a few seashells just to make sure it's got a nice even flow there because I did a whole clean out of the filter system here because uh, god the pipes were pipes were thick it was horrible so <laughs> I went ahead and gave it a good clean and just as I was finishing up and about to put the last bit of water in the in the overflow tanks here the messenger arrived and brought me my lovely little present which is now installed and Honestly, it looks nice as well. Now look at that. Like a little glass trumpet in there. And you can see the bubbles going behind it. You can't see the flow, but that's, I hear, the point. That it's a much more gentle circular flow that these give. And allow us to let the planted tank really flourish while giving it a nice, good, more even flow. You can see there's a bit of a flow there. If you look at them leaves there, you can see they're moving in a current. It's just not as strong as it was. And you can see those roots up at the front there are also moving a bit. So the current exists. You can see by how clear the water is. Obviously, the filtration and flow is happening. But look at the forest there. It's looking nice and it's look much more explored. That will give those Anubias and uh, the Moneri and the Amazon swords really a chance to really shine and flow there. Another thing I've noticed here quite interesting with the Amazon swords is it's dropping roots out from the top, which is going to be cool. We'll see what that leads to. And look, my tetras are having quite a good bit of fun there. We might actually be looking at either, I don't know whether they're fighting or courting. I honestly don't know about tetras to tell you. But we'll soon find out. Anyway, uh, video coming up for you tomorrow. And everything looking lovely.